What is up you guys, it's your boy Tony Russell, aka Hoodie Rush, you know what I'm saying? And today we are reacting to the Chargers vs. the Broncos, so if you're done with that, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, can you know that keep that name strong, comment and share it, everybody know, let's get right into it. So, Broncos fans, y'all best first, y'all best say thank you to the Seahawks fans, because if I had not reacted to that Seahawks video, I would not be reacting to this video right now. And y'all, the same rules apply. The same rules apply. Y'all got to blow up this video. Y'all got to like. Y'all got to comment. Y'all got to follow me on my socials. Let's have that sit there real quick. Y'all got to follow me on my socials, you know what I'm saying? And y'all got to share it with everybody you know. But um, I know y'all trying to get right back, right into the video, and I am too. So I'm gonna slide right over to the side. You know, what I'm saying I'm pulling my little earphone. You know what I mean? And we gonna get straight into the video. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Chargers versus Broncos. Link in the description down below. Let's get it. Let's go. Third and thirteen for the Chargers. Justin Herbert versus Drew Locke. This is actually a great game. I'm I'm glad I'm glad that I'm. Oh, we threw a pick. Never mind. Oh my God. And Justin Simmons. That's who I want, baby. That's who I want. I hope y'all, no offense, Broncos, I hope y'all don't keep him. I want my Cowboys to have him. I love, I want him so bad because we need a safety. But um, as I was saying, I'm glad y'all made me react to this because um, Justin Herbert versus Drew Locke, that's a good young quarterback battle right there. 3-0, to zero, Denver scores off the Justin Herbert interception. Who is this? Is that Joshua Kelly? You know, Austin Eckler hurt. I don't know which running back that was, but Austin Eckler hurt. Oh, good pass. Is that Mike Williams? Yes, sir. Justin Herbert to Mike Williams. Justin Herbert has an arm and a cannon, bro. Oh, my God. He going to learn to slide after that hit. Yeah, Justin, you going to learn to slide after that hit. They going for on fourth and one. Joshua Kelly did not get it. Did not get it on fourth and one. That's basically, that's two turnovers right there. Put in. No, y'all not in good territory. Oh, my God. I can't believe he, Jerry Judy, good catch. I can't believe Drew Locke fit that pass through there. He didn't give me many points, y'all. I was pretty disappointed. Pretty disappointed. But, um, let's see. Okay. 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 Oh, Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Good little run. Second and ten for Drew Locke. Good throw to Noah Font. Noah Font's nice out of Iowa, you know what I'm saying? Justin Herbert on third and three. Blitz coming off the edge. Justin Herbert fell and got to Keenan Allen for the first down. Yes, sir. Justin Herbert. Where are we going, baby? Good throw. Justin Jackson. Oh, my God. Good stuff. Okay, first down. First and ten. Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert. Yes, sir. Good throw to Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen getting the first down and more. Yes, sir. In the red zone now. Third and goal. Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert. Justin. Ooh, great throw. Keenan Allen with the touchdown. Keenan Allen with the touchdown. Ten to zero. Well, nine to zero, can't. Oh, oh no! I'm thinking they had three. It's seven to three. My bad. Oh, Justin Jackson! Justin Jackson with a nice run. Second and seven. Justin Herbert. I don't know who that is, but he that was a good catch, good run. I have no idea who that is, honestly. Justin Herbert going deep, going deep. Mike Williams, did he score too? No, he didn't score, but it was a nice catch. And then, who is that? I have no idea. Is that Derek Watt? No, I don't. I have no idea who that is. But um, there's a penalty. End of the second quarter too, as y'all can see, 15 seconds left. Let's see. Well, I love the call. Get the quarterback. Holding on the defense, so touchdown for the Chargers. Four, 13 to 3. 13 and 3. We're we not saying 14, so we see 14 on the board. You know what I'm saying? 14 to 3. Justin Herbert. Chargers get the ball at the half. Justin Herbert using them legs. Yes, sir. Hey, Justin Herbert was nice out of Oregon, baby. Nice at, nice at Oregon. 
Some some people thought he was probably gonna be the first round, first overall pick, but Joe Burrow just ran off with it. He just ran off with it. He was incredible, incredible. Oh my God! What a throw! What a catch! Twenty-one to three. Justin Herbert and the Chargers are going off. That's his third touchdown, uh, passing touchdown of the game. Justin Herbert showing he is going to be a great quarterback in this league early. Oh, my God. The way he's carrying this team. Well, no, he is carrying this team offensively. He's doing very, really well. You know, I think they're better off with Tyrod Taylor hurt, even though it's unfortunate how he got hurt. I think they're better off with him hurt. Pope, oh my god, I'm gonna learn your name if you have a great game like this. If you keep going like this, I'm gonna learn your name. What you mean? 52 yard field goal. Right down the middle. Jesus, yes sir. 24 to 3. Denver is struggling, baby. Struggling. Look at Nick, Joey Bosa trying to get there. Who is that? Who is that? Who's number 17? I, I know who that is in my head, but I don't know who that is. You know what? <laughs> I, you actually probably don't. Oh, Philip Lindsay. Philip Lindsay. Philip Lindsay. Philip Lindsay breaking one for a touchdown. Philip Lindsay and the Broncos strike. 10 to 24, making it a little bit closer. Okay, Broncos got to stop. Let's see. Can they answer on offense? It's only a two score game now. They're not out of it. Only a two score game. Oh my God. You cannot do that, though. Jesus. Drew Locke. Come on, Drew Locke. And it looks like he's trying to house call. It looked like, oh, okay. He didn't house call, but Drew Locke, you cannot do that, baby. Third and four, Justin Herbert dropping back, going to the end zone. Oh, it got picked off. That is a nice pick. Hey, that's not even a bad throw by Justin Herbert. He gave his receiver a 50-50 chance, and his receiver lost it. That's not just, I don't I don't blame it on Justin Herbert at all. He gave his receiver a 50-50 chance, and his, 50, and his receiver didn't capitalize. That's what I say. Start of the fourth, down by two scores for the Broncos. Drew Locke, yes, sir. Drew Locke to Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy out of Alabama. Yes, sir, baby. Who is that? Who is number 17? Let me know in the comments, bro. I really want to know who number 17 is. Oh, my God. Did he catch that? I don't know. They saying he caught it. They saying he caught it. Wait, no. Tim Patrick is 81. Okay. So, he did catch it. One score game now. Um, Broncos coming back in this game. Um, Chargers have to answer. Chargers have to answer. Third and one. Justin Herbert QB sneak. Penalty marker. They replayed the down. It looks like no. They just replayed the highlight. Did he get this? What's the penalty? Wow. I don't know what the penalty was, but it was 15 yards worth, and that's not good for the Broncos. And this man. Oh my. 47 yard field goal. And that is in there. 27 to 17. Broncos down by 10. Eight minutes left. Not out of it, but it's going to be hard to come back. Phillip Lindsey. I should. I, hey, I'm, I'm, about to, I, I'm about to get rid of uh, Melvin Gordon and pick up Phillip Lindsey, bro. Like legit. Like legit. Come on now. Drew Locke. Drew Locke. Who is this? Who is it? Hamilton. I have no idea who that is. Somebody tell me who that is. I've been asking all game and he scored. He scored. Number 17. Yes, sir. That's what I'm going to call him, baby. Keenan Allen with the first down, second and nine. Four minutes left. Denver needs this stop right here. Needs this stop. Wow, Jackson got the first down. Jackson again. Jackson again. Jackson again. He is A. Hey, they are trying to eat this clock and finish this game off. Personal foul. Illegal crackback block. Mm, that hurts. That moves. That moves Chargers backwards. That moves the Chargers backwards. That can kill a drive. Second and twenty-one. Like I said, that can kill a drive. A penalty like that. Second and twenty-one, and a sack on Justin Herbert. Try to now a thirty-three-yard field goal. Thirty-three-yard field goal made. Thirty to twenty-four. Now it's just a touchdown away. Touchdown game right here. A lot of time left. Two minutes left. More than enough time to score. Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon got first down and more. Looked like he almost got stripped, too. Third and eight. 130 left. Pay attention to the time, baby. Fourth and eight. Wait, did they throw the flag? 
They threw the flag for him. Let's see. No, it was. It definitely was. He definitely did help. He definitely did hold. He definitely did. He definitely did. He wrapped him. He wrapped him before the ball came in. Blitz coming. One minute left. Drew Lock. Drew Lock going. Good pass. Good pass to Hamilton. Hamilton is having himself a day today. I don't even know. I, this is the first time I've heard of him. He's having himself a day today. Third and five. 31 seconds left, y'all. Denver still has a timeout. That's going to be important. Ooh, seven seconds left. My goodness. Seven seconds left. Wow, they're going to throw a flag on that? Yo, that's the game. That's the game. They threw a flag on that? I will have to see it again. That's a tough call. That's a tough call to make. Oh! Oh! Yo, they called it incomplete? Hold on. One official ruled incomplete. One ruled touchdown. KJ Hamler. They called it a touchdown. They called it a touchdown. Oh, they still need to make the field goal, though. Game's not over. They still, you know, the extra point is important. Are they fighting? Are they fighting? Hey, Denver cannot fight right now. It's a tie game. They can win this game. You cannot give up any yards right now. You have to make this extra point to win the game. You do not want this to go to overtime. Y'all got to keep y'all cool. If this is against the Chargers, I think it's going to be against the Chargers. Let's see. Hey, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of controversy right now. That pass interference call. Mm. Mm. That makes it. Oh, they declined it, though. Oh, he already made it. He already made it. So that's game. Bro, a lot of controversy. A lot of controversy at the end. I love Drew Locke, bro. I love his swag, bro. He has so much swagger. I just every time I see Drew Lock, I remember when he was when he first um started. I don't even know he if he was start. Yes, he was. I think he was starting during that game, but I just remember when he was um going off to um I think it was a Meek Mill song. I forgot what song it was, but that's all I can remember. But um you know the Broncos came back. What were they down by? I believe they were down by like twenty one. It was like twenty four to what three. Was the score what they were down by, and they ended up coming back? Hold on, lot of like I said, lot of controversy. Um, the pass interference call at the end of the game, um, in the end zone, like that's the game right there. That's again, the they probably get one more play, but it's definitely not on the one yard line. It's not on the one yard line, so it's definitely gonna be hard to score from where they were to where they ended up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so. Bunt, like, that's a tough call as a ref to make. Like, are, as a ref, are you making that call? Like, that is tough. That is tough. And, you know, I know the Chargers are feeling some type of way. I know they are because, um, you know, that's a call that, you know, lost them the game, you know, lost them the game. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say it wasn't pass interference. I'm not going to sit here and say it was. Honestly, I don't know. I didn't see, I didn't see it. I saw a flag come out. And I saw that's how they won it. But um, Justin Herbert, let's go to the box score. Uh, Denver won 31 to 30. Crazy game. Justin Herbert, 29 to for 43. Um, 279 yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions. Those two interceptions um, proved crucial um, in the in the end. You know what I'm saying? Because they lost uh, seven 17 carries for Justin Jackson with 89 yards. Um, this Pope dude who I've never heard of, 67 carry or 67 carries. Imagine if somebody had 67 carries in a game. Um, that You don't even get 67 carries as a team, you know what I'm saying? But 10 carries, 67 yards, 6.7 yards rushing. You know, like I said, he looked like he was killing. Mike Williams, 99 yards, one touchdown. I believe... He, because one of those interceptions I said was not just in Herbert's fault. I believe that was the 50-50 ball to Mike Williams. And I'm going to blame that on Mike Williams. Because when you throw a 50-50 ball, you're trusting your receiver. You're like, my receiver can go up and go get this. And if your receiver doesn't go up and go get that, to me, that's not the quarterback's fault. That's just not the quarterback's fault. Keenan Allen, 67 yards, one touchdown, nine receptions. Then on the other side of the ball, Drew Locke. 
Um, slow start for that Broncos team. I believe they had three points up until the maybe the third quarter, if I remember right. If I'm remembering right, but Drew Locke, 26 for 41, 248 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. You know what I'm saying? Phillip Lindsay, 83 yards, one touchdown. Like I said, I might have to switch Phillip Lindsay out for Melvin Gordon. But they swap, you know? It, it just depends who's having the better game with them. You know what I'm saying? So, honestly, I don't know. Honestly, it might just be better to get a different running back altogether. You know what I'm saying? But, um... You know, Deshaun Hamilton, I just learned his name because I pushed on it. 82 yards, one touchdown, had the important touchdown um, towards the end of the game. K.J. Hamler had the game-winning touchdown. And K.J. Hamler, um, he has an incredible story, yo, because K.J. Hamler is the same guy who caught a game-winning touchdown. Like, he's the same dude who caught the game-winning touchdown in the Broncos preseason game, what was it, last year? Um, I forgot who it was against. Was it was it even a preseason game? I I'm I have I, maybe it wasn't a preseason game, but he is the same person who caught that game winning touchdown um back then, and that's that's how I remember his name, you know. And to to be honest, that's that's why he still has a prominent role on this team. Um, I think for, um, I think because you know that that catch it changes everything. You know what I'm saying? You know, he made a name for himself with that catch. Um, but he had a touchdown. Um, uh, oh, I know this dude from Missouri. He's a rookie. Yeah, he was He was supposed to be a beast. Um, Akwu, I don't, I'm not going to, Albert. I'm going to call him Albert. Um, he had a touchdown the other day. Um, but yeah, I remember him in the draft too. He's a rookie. Um, so, but the Denver Broncos. 31 to 30, move to 3 and 4. Um who's in their division? The Chargers are, aren't they? Um the Chargers are in their division. Oh, so they're third in the division. Oh, they're in the Chiefs division. Yeah, they're not doesn't look like they're going to go to the playoffs um with the Chiefs being in that division and the Raiders playing as well as they are. So, um but it was a good win for them. A uh, great comeback win. Can't imagine how the Broncos fans felt um coming back from that. Like I I'm like I imagine they probably felt like how I felt when the we came back against the Falcons because it was almost that crazy. It was almost that crazy. I'm not going to say it was as crazy just because, you know, getting an onside kick is one in a million. You know, you never get that. But just with the pass interference call and stuff like that and the long wait to see if they were going to rule the last touchdown a touchdown or not, you know what I'm saying? So it was crazy. Like, I bet Broncos fans went crazy, but, um, you know, as far as the video goes, man, that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you smash that like button, hit that scroll, and turn on post notifications if you want to keep that A.A. strong. Comment, share, throw it you know, and I'll see you for an hour. So, peace. Yeah, I used to be on that back block, right with everybody, so crack rock me and T-Flea, catch a mad top from skis or I don't need her, I need Benz, Bentley's and Beamer, if you could take my bitch, keep her, it's hoodie season, I'm the reaper.